Hey guys, I'm Cody, and for my past life pro, and for my fifth installment of my Cinema Mod series, today we'll be breaking down the Camera Studio mod for Minecraft 4.7.2, 1.7.10, and 1.8, if you can actually get that working with shaders. But anyways, let's get started. To summarize, Camera Studio is a mod that allows you to control camera movements like the Pixel Cam mod, so as to create some incredible cinematics. But unlike Pixel Cam, Camera Studio has been around for quite a lot longer, so you can only imagine all the tricks slash features up its sleeve. And about that, here's the thing. Since I don't happen to have all the mod commands at my fingertips anymore due to Sushin no longer updating Camera Studio, I've got a compromise. I make cinematics that have become pretty popular over time. How about I reveal to you how I use Camera Studio for creating my cinematics, so that you can better create your own. Before we get to a past life pro example, I think it best if I got you up to date with my settings. To find the Camera Studio mod options menu, press O when you're in game and you'll get to where I'm at. Global options. If there are any important things to take into account, I'll let you know. Cam command. Cam third person, which we will get into a little bit later. Cam roll. Don't forget to set your keys. We'll also be discussing this a little bit later. Video and audio rec tabs, which aren't available. I haven't used or messed around with these dependencies tabs since probably two years ago. Either way, it's been a while, so there's nothing I can add. Alright, next part of the game. It's time we tackled all the commands that I'm familiar with. Some, well, you may be very familiar with. But for those that are completely new to Camera Studio, do listen carefully. To add in your first point of travel, press P on the keyboard or type slash cam P1 in the chat bar. Let's create a camera travel path. To start moving down this path, type slash cam start in your amount of time. I'll go with 20 seconds. To pause the camera, just type slash cam pause. To resume the camera path, type slash cam resume. These two commands though, I never type them out just so you know since there is a shortcut key you can set in the command menu tab. To outright stop the camera, it's as easy as typing slash cam stop. Here's something pretty cool. What if you want the camera to focus on one particular area? Well, try this. Go over to the place you'd like to focus on and type slash cam target, then slash cam start. At this point, your camera will move through all your points of travel, yet continuously focus on this one area. To bring your character to a specific point, just type slash cam go to and then the point number. I'll go to point number two, so type slash cam go to p2. To save your camera travel path, type slash cam save and whatever you want to name it. I'll go with slash cam save life one for this tutorial. To load the save, it's pretty simple. Just type in slash cam load life one. To delete a point from your camera travel path, just type slash cam undo and the point number. I'll be deleting point 3, so slash cam undo p3. And something else, you could also delete your target by typing slash cam undo target, but I'm not going to do that. To delete everything to do with your camera travel path, just type in slash cam clear. It is worth noting that if you save the path, then you just have to slash cam load it in again, then you'd be fine. Slash cam list. This command will show you all the existing Camera Studio paths. And yes, I know I do have quite a few. Now, let's get on to probably one of my most used features in this entire mod, beyond the slash cam p command. Elastic time. So, a little background before we get into this. What elastic time is designed to do is give you access to controlling how slow or fast Minecraft's day and night cycle goes. In my case, for filming extremely long time lapses, this feature allows me to keep the sun or the moon in one place for a crazy amount of time. And another plus will be the increased slowness to shadows, which as you'd imagine, since time is moving slower, shadows would, as you'd expect, move slower as well. So, background information aside, slash ET. Typing this command will show you the current configuration of time. To set your own time, just type in slash ET, then your time. For me, I'm going to go with slash ET 5 hours. To access day and night time individually, you could also go slash ET 5H 5H. First number directs the day, and second directs the night. To turn on the elastic time changes, just type slash ET on. 
To turn off the changes, type slash ET off. Some other features that I said I get into. First, cam third person. When I film intros to my tutorials, there's a pretty high chance you'd see me somewhere in the frame, staring down into your soul. Yes, these are examples of cam third person. So, let's get to a third person shot. Press O and find the cam third person menu. For enabling third person, just click the off button. Now, whenever you play your camera travel path, here let me load it up, you'll be able to see your character in it. It's as simple as that. And for all those other menu settings in the cam third person menu, I don't use them. You'll have to test those out on your own. Now, the last feature I'd like to show you, cam roll. I did make a tutorial on this some years back, but this feature allows you to tilt your screen, kind of like you're seeing right now. The cool thing about this is you can set different screen tilts per point. So as you can see in the footage, it will turn as your camera moves through the points. So, knowing all this, I think it's time we got to a real example of this mod. To quickly get you up to speed, I've already set my travel points, so as of now, we're basically just setting up Camera Studio to take the shot. This is a travel path from my Minecraft cinematic of Ashwick, the Lonely Isol. Using Camera Studio, here's how this shot was filmed. First, slash cam start 20 seconds. Slash ET5H, this is so the time of day doesn't change. Slash ET on. And again, slash cam start 20 seconds. This is so I don't have to type in the command while minimize rendering the frames of the shot, which as you'll see is quite laggy. And I might add, we're currently sitting at one frame per second. I'll quick select cam start 20 seconds one last time and let the camera sit for a good 20 minutes or so. But anyways, this shot should clearly show you how I use the camera studio mod. A quick word before I sign off. I kept this tutorial as in-depth as I possibly could, so if you have any questions on anything to do with Camera Studio, then ask them in the comment section down below. If this Cinema Mods tutorial was of any use to you, then do hit that like button. And before you go, don't forget to check out my channel for some more Minecraft tutorials, some pro quality cinematics, and a bunch of other videos that you shouldn't miss. Anyways, I'm Cody, and this is Past Life Pro, where creativity is always a part of my life, as it will be for yours. Alright, see you guys!